any answer for the comments? Go by your own choice, Siddhasan or Padmasan or simple Sukhasan. Once you are settled in your meditative asan, place your hands either on the knees or in the lap. Any convenient mudra of your choice. Spine upright, erect, chest relaxed, open, shoulder relaxed, facial muscle relaxed. Now shut your eyes gently. Shut your eyes gently. Be aware of the body and stillness of the body. Body still and relaxed. Now be aware of the breath. When you find your body breath ready, we will start a cooling kaniyam that is sheet kari kaniyam and we will have 10 rounds if you wish to watch me once you have to draw the breath in through the teeth so wide, mouth will be wide open and you have to inhale through the teeth and end of inhalation Retain the breath for 2-3 seconds and breathe out through the nostrils. So inhalation is through mouth, exhalation is through the nostrils. Watch me for the first round. Inhaling through the teeth. Retain the breath for three seconds and then breathe out through the nostrils. And breathe out deep every time. Let's start 10 rounds. This is Sheet Kari Kanim. Practice with a closed eye. Go deep while inhaling like yogi breathing. Then switch in arms, eyes remain shut. Feel the impact of this cooling breath, the cooling pranayam, the sheet kari pranayam. It relates the body heat, the body temperature. All kind of heating problem is uh, one of the best pranayam. It's a uh, IBP, anger, restlessness. 
panic, anxiety, those who have uh, digestive tract issues, digestive problems like acidity, digestion, burning, ulceration, colitis should be practiced regularly and more number of rounds. And now open your eyes. We'll move to the next cooling pranayam. That is the Shivli Pranayam. Here you need to roll the tongue like this, a beak of a bird. And now in your lace hand will be through this rolled tongue. Similar practice, similar way like the previous Shivkali Pranayam. Watch me once. Practice this Shikri Pranayam for in dance. If you are unable to roll the tongue, you can practice the Shikari, the previous Pranayam, for another chin dance. Slow deep breath, like yogi breath, inhaling through the rolled tongue. End of inhalation, tongue goes in, mouth shut. Hold the breath for two, three seconds. Let that cooling spread within, and you breathe out. Breathe out through the nostrils and breathe out deep. Ten rounds of total. Chiefly Pranayam. Rounds total. Finish this round and feel the impact of this sheetly coming. Eyes remain shut. Cools down the entire body system. It regulates the body heat. It's 
similar benefit like the previous Ghanaian helps in the cases of high blood pressure, finger anxiety, restlessness, headache, migraine, acidity, digestion, burning, colitis, ulceration, irritable bowel syndrome, all kind of an eating problem should be practiced regularly. During winters, it must be avoided. During cold, it should be avoided. Body still relaxed, breath calm, relaxed, mind completely relaxed. Do not open your eyes. Now, first two fingers of your right hand, the eyebrow center, the Nasa Mudra. Come at the right nostril, the ring finger at the left, little finger remains away. Now close the right nostril, we'll have the Navishogan stage two. So the ratio one is to one. Start inhaling to the left. One ohm, two ohm, three ohm, four ohm, five ohm, six ohm, seven ohm. Close the left. Exhale from the right. One ohm, two ohm, three ohm, four ohm, five ohm, six ohm, seven ohm. Inhale through right only. One ohm, two ohm. 3 ohm, 4 ohm, 5 ohm, 6 ohm, 7 ohm, close the right, use the thumb, exhale from the left, 1 ohm, 2 ohm, 3 ohm, 4 ohm, 5 ohm, 6 ohm, 7 ohm, the round number, 1 over the second round, to the left nostril, maintain the ratio, 1 is 2, 1. Five rounds total, seven ohm is to seven ohm. If it is not comfortable, you may have six ohm is to six ohm or even five ohm is to five ohm, but some of you have a higher count. Go by that count without overstraining the lungs. So five rounds with a ratio one is to one. We are practicing Nadi Shodhan Rani. And when you inhale through left nostril, it impacts the right side of the brain. And when you inhale through right, it affects the left side of the brain. Practice of Nadi Shodhan brings the balance at the brain level. It balances the autonomic nervous system, balance between sympathetic and the parasympathetic nerves. Breath becomes slower, deeper, longer. The capacity of the lungs increases. The prana, the movement of energy inside within gets restored. It heals the body. The practice of Nadi Shodhan Khanayam purifies the body. That's as a tranquilizer as well. And it strengthens your nervous system too. So one of the best and the master Khanayam. Eye rounds total, maintaining the ratio of 1 is to 1. Eyes remain shut, body remains still, head remains straight. If you start to wander, bring awareness back to the practice. Do not open your eyes. We have finished already of eye rounds. Eyes remain shut during and after. We have finished. Keep watching the breath.
on a relaxed, energized, breath relaxed, mind quite calm. Now, the next five rounds, the same Nadi Shodhan Pranayam, stays two with the ratio one is to two. So either five ohm is to 10 ohm, or six ohm is to 12 ohm, or seven is to 14, go by your own comfort and convenience. The same mudra, the Nasaka mudra, first two fingers and the eyebrow sink, come at the right nostril, ring finger, the left little finger remains away. Now close the right nostril with um, start inhaling to the left. One ohm, two ohm, three ohm, four ohm, five ohm, six ohm. Close the left, exhale from the right. One ohm, two ohm, three ohm, four ohm, five ohm, six ohm, seven ohm, eight ohm, nine ohm, ten ohm, eleven ohm, twelve ohm. Inhale to the right, one ohm, two ohm. 3 ohm, 4 ohm, 5 ohm, 6 ohm. Close the right, exhale from the left, 1 ohm, 2 ohm, 3 ohm, 4 ohm, 5 ohm, 6 ohm, 7 ohm, 8 ohm, 9 ohm, 10 ohm, 11 ohm, 12 ohm. The round number one, over. Now for more rounds. The ratio 1 is to 2, 6 ohm is to 12 ohm, not comfortable, then 5 is to 10 or 4 ohm is to 8 ohm. Or some of you are at 8 ohm or 8 ohm is to 16 or 9 ohm is to 8. You go by your own convenience, but never try to over strain the lungs. Total 5 rounds. This is the ratio uh, and Kanyam stays 2 with the ratio 1 is to 2. Or inhaling less, exhaling double the amount of inhalation, less oxygenation, and more of the carbon dioxide going out of the system, out of the lungs, leads to purification of the blood in the body to gain more control over the breath. And this stays is good for the strength and the functioning of the cardiovascular system. Total five rounds. Total five rounds. Have already finished. And then comes back to the knees or in the lab, watching the breath, trying to feel the impact of the practice on your body, on your breath, on your nervous system, on your mind, on your emotions. But your legs, breath slow, settle, smooth, relaxed, mind quite calm, tranquil, a quite relaxed state. Now we'll move to the next pranayam. 
Ujjayi Pranayam, the Hissing Breath. Roll the tongue into Kechari Mudra. Tip of the tongue goes in. The back of the tongue touches the upper palate. Lips together, mouth closed, chin little down. You need to contract the throat to facilitate that hissing sound. Contracting the throat, inhaling slow, deep. Exhaling slow, deep. While inhaling, the hissing sound being produced from the throat. Breathe out, same sound. Equal length of the breath and the equal sound. While inhaling, going deep, or while exhaling, going deep. So start the practice. 21 rounds, the Ujjayi Prani. your tongue gets tired, release it, relax it, and again pull it back to resume the practice. Total 21 rounds. Practice of Ujjayi Prani. The breath rises from navel to throat. We breathe out throat to the navel. Awareness now between navel and throat. Inhaling navel to throat. Exhale throat to the navel. Continue with the Sujai Kamiya. It's a deep hissing sound when you inhale and the breath starts to rise from navel to throat. And when you breathe out, throat to the navel with the same hissing sound. As we progress in the practice, breath starts becoming deeper and longer. So as the sound basing becoming deep, more profound. In the last three rounds of the Ujjayi Prani.
of the practice release the jhan relax it eyes remain shut feel the impact of the ujjayi pranayam which is one of the calming tranquilizing pranayam soothes your nerves relaxes the nervous system Pulls down the body mind system. The high blood pressure is one of the best running. In thyroid problem, with this hyper hypothyroidism, in both cases, it helps and helps in regulating the thyroid secretions. Anger, anxiety, restlessness, panic attacks is a big remedy. Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, paralysis, heart problems, which is one of the best pranayam. You can feel the impact now. Body is still, breath is relaxed, mind is at a tranquil, calm state. Now, keep the eyes shut. The last pranayam of the set, the Brahmari pranayam, humming B for seven downs. Lips together, gap between the jaws. Inhaling deep like yogic breathing and exhale deep humming. Awareness inside the head, inside the cranium. Concentrating on that sound and that vibration inside the head. Close the ears, eyes remain shut. Start the practice. Chest open, elbows to the side. Total seven downs. Mm -hmm. Eyes may shut, hands back to the knees or in the lap. The redness stays inside the head, inside the cranium, inside your skull, the vibration, the reverberation of the humming is still there, it exists. You can still feel the sound, the vibration, head relaxed, brain cells relaxed. Facial muscle relaxed, body relaxed, light. It's a calm state, a tranquil state, a peaceful, blissful, divine state. After this practice of Brahmari and the Brahmari's again a calming, tranquilizing pranic, it soothes your nerves, relaxes the nervous system, relaxes the brain cells, 
and the high BP, the sleep problems, anger, anxiety, panic, restlessness. So one of the best running it improves your sleeping pattern. The quality sleep you get if you practice before sleep, the Brahmari and Ujjayi. It will improve your sleeping pattern, the sleeping quality. In heart problems, brain related issues, the brain degeneration, multiple sclerosis, the Alzheimer's, Parkinson, Dementia, so best remedy, the primary planning. In children, it improves the concentration power, comprehension, ability, the memory. Be aware of the body. Be aware of the sound surroundings. Try externalize your senses. And then gently open your eyes. So today we have this five pranayams, five sets, one after other. In this sequence, if you practice every day, if somebody has high BP, it will help in the management of the high BP. If somebody has migraine, headache will help in the migraine and headache. If somebody has anger issue, the palpitations, the restlessness, anxiety, it help in that management too. So very effective in the same sequence if you do it every day. Hari Om Tat Sat, have a wonderful, wonderful day.